All right, EA dropped their top 100 players in College Football 25, and in this one, we're going to talk about what I believe is going to be the best team or teams to use based literally just off these. So, where you go. First and foremost, I tweeted this out the other day, or literally earlier today, and um, immediately people said, Oregon, 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 Oregon. I took a gander at Oregon. I'm going to tell you why I don't think it's going to be Oregon. So, let's go to, who, they're in the, yeah, they're in the Big Ten now. Beautiful. Well, beautiful. Here we go. Um, so let's talk about Oregon. The reason, and let me make sure you guys can see really fast. Yes. The reason so many people are saying Oregon is because they have two wide receivers in the top 100 who are very fast, right? They're 96 speed, 95 speed. And I believe they're actually the fastest uh, or tied for the fastest in the top 100. That does not mean they're the fastest in the game, right? Because somebody could be ranked 125 and be 96 speed as well. So a lot of weight in my mind is being pushed towards these two wide receivers. And to me, to be so honest with you, if there is a very important position where overall just doesn't matter quite as much as some others, which again, right, whatever, it's, it, it, it's wide receiver. Because truth be told, if I have an 81 overall receiver who has 95 speed, 96 speed, he's going to run a corner route dang near as like very, very similar to how Tez Johnson or Evan Stewart are going to do it. Same with like drags and stuff like that. Now, there are differences sometimes on specific routes in different games. And, you know, we, don't, we just don't know in College Football 25. But, man, like, I don't think them just having two fast receivers automatically makes them, like, top dog um, uh, team, right? And the next thing we got to look at then is they have a good left tackle, a number 95 ranked 90 overall left tackle. Very, very good. Um, they have a corner who's here, probably gets some very good abilities. We can't see those, but, uh, what is it? Jabbar Muhammad. He seems to be pretty good, right? Then we have Dylan Gabriel, 92 overall, 81 speed. So he has a little bit of athleticism, able to get outside the pocket. Some 99 awareness. That doesn't really matter a ton in online play, to be honest with you. It just doesn't. Um, so like a big reason his overall is so high is awareness. If you've ever been someone who I used to always edit players when I was younger, and, uh, you know, just mess around with their ratings and whatnot. And one of the biggest needle movers is awareness. So a big reason this guy is a 92 is because he has 99 awareness. Now, what really this comes down to at the quarterback position, position for who the best quarterback is, is pretty much this right here. Let's get rid of Oregon and let's go filter by QBs in this list. Uh, okay, why is center at the, oh, at first I thought it was alphabetically organized, but I think it's just random. Beautiful. Love it. Um. So, here is a list of every quarterback in the top 100. Let's actually sort by something called speed. And you'll see here, Jalen Milrow, 90 overall, 91 speed. This is a massive, massive deal because some of it, again, depends on how, they, how this game plays. But, you know, you go somebody who's at 90 overall, 91 speed compared to Quinn Ewers, who's 92 overall, 81 speed. It's like, for it, for it to make sense, uh, on a peer, player to player scale for Quinn Ewers to actually be better in the game than Jalen Milrow. Quinn has to have way better abilities, right? Like higher, uh, like tiered abilities, or you have to notice Quinn hit way more throws than Jalen. Quinn needs to be a much better pocket passer than Jalen Milrow is. And you have to be able to noticeably feel that, which is just always an issue in these, in, in video, in video games, right? In football games. Right. And that's been an issue literally for like 20 years. Um, 04, Michael Vick was just an absolute, like, that. yeah. You, you guys know about that. Um, whereas, you know, we look at someone like Carson Beck, even, 93 overall, but 74 speed. Is he better than Jalen Milrow? Like, maybe some of the stats, but, I mean, I don't know. Like, hell, if you knocked his awareness down to Jalen Milrow's at 92, he might be at 91 overall, 92 overall. And then it's like, I don't know he has a few better throwing stats, but way worse speed. You, I, I'm really hoping, and this is, I think, Mutt sometimes does a really good job of this with the ability system, uh, is they need to make sure that pocket quarterbacks have a distinct advantage over mobile quarterbacks. A lot of times in Mutt, in early season Mutt, they do a really good job of like, oh, um, you have Lamar Jackson, who's obviously super fast, but you go get Troy Aikman, who has hot rail master or something it's like oh that's a decision they gotta find a way to do that in this game because every quarterback has hot rail master right so it's like what is that what, what, what is that distinction 
I don't know yet. But that's a big reason you kind of see where I'm alluding to here of why I think Bama is going to be the actual best team for online play day one. Um, and if they're not the best, they got to be very, very close. We're going to check out a few teams here. But Bama, um, and you know we have one, two, three, four, five, six, just six different positions in the top 100. Three of which are offensive linemen, which, you know, it's nice to have. You know, obviously you want really good offensive linemen. Um, sometimes, though, you know, the difference between a 91 overall offensive lineman and a 85 overall offensive lineman isn't always noticeable. We'll see when it comes to this game if it's noticeable, especially, again, it kind of comes down to these high overalls, to me, indicate more and better abilities on these guys. So it kind of depends on how noticeable those are for them to be playing better. But it is nice, right, to have that. Um, one position that I do think kind of gets thrown just into the trash. This guy's got 87 speed. He's fast for a linebacker. But ultimately, he is a linebacker in an EA football game. And maybe things are different. But linebackers just don't animate in coverage. They're, like, huge. Even if this guy is 99 zone coverage, which I don't, I don't know. Um, they are always a liability in coverage. So if you're running any kind of nickel set, you'd probably just sub this guy out and you'll get a safety who's 87 speed and can play better coverage and play similar run defense. So for this guy to matter, he has to be able to play some coverage, right? And he has to play run defense better, noticeably better than a safety subbed in at that same position for him, who's a lower overall. That is something that Madden has had a big issue with re like the past couple of years. And uh, so right now I'm like that position. Cool. Don't really care, though, Devontae Lawson. Unfortunately, I'm sure you're an absolute dog in real life. Um, but it does come down to, you know, we have quarterback right here, free safety, uh, Malachi Moore. Malachi or Malachi? I don't know. But uh, this guy is a top-tier safety. Very good to have on the team. I just think Jalen Milrow, dude, if he can deliver the ball from the pocket, he's such a game-changer. And you have to assume Bama's got high overalls all across the team at every position, even if they're not in the top 100. You've got to assume that. And at the wide receiver spot, right, that, 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 that part of the team where people are like, Oregon, 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 I would gander to say that Bama probably has some 95-speed receivers just in the low 80 overalls or the high 70s. And that's just how... I mean, I just feel like that's very common in video in, in, uh, in sports video games, right? Or in football video games. Madden always has these 70 overall receivers, low 80s, who are 90-something speed. And they play like absolute dogs because how fast they are, right? So I really do think their offense can be very explosive. I'm expecting that at the receiver position. And then I think Jill Milrow paired with that is going to be just absolutely nasty. And if that O-line does noticeably play, noticeably play better, it's going to be also really, really good. Now, another team I want to take a gander at is going to be the Georgia Bulldogs. Um, let's go Georgia. Boom. Apply. Now, I think Georgia is probably going to have a billion. Oh, they have one, two, three, four, five, six guys here. Left outside linebacker, Mikel Williams. Kind of the same situation as before. Where I'm like, cool. 88 speed. Like, if this guy is a pass rusher, if he can play D end, which I actually, this, that's where this guy should play on your team. If he can't play coverage, put him at D end dog. Probably absolute dog. Um, left guard, right guard. Good to see Carson Beck. That's where like the question mark is, right? Do we see a huge difference in the pocket between Carson Beck and Jalen Milrow when your user controlling? Him? I'm not talking about CPU. When I throw a corner route with Jalen compared to Carson, does Carson notice we get the ball there faster? Is it, is it better? Um, or other stuff like that. You guys get what I'm saying? If so, Hell yeah, that's very cool. If not, I don't care about the overall. Jalen Milrow beats him, right? Uh, we have Malaki Starks. That's the second Malaki we've seen. Huh. Um, Malaki Starks, the best safety in the game, it looks like. Nice. And uh, they have a tight end, too, which is always really nice to have on a team, is a tight end who's athletic, 86 speed, looks like, and 90 XL. He's, he's athletic, all right. Um, and then... Uh, like, has high stat, because he's going to have better route running, stuff like that. Really, really nice when you have a good tight end. He comes in at number 99 ranked, actually. So, pretty cool to see that. Let's check out a team in Ohio State. I think this team's going to have just a billion different players in the uh, in that top, top, top area. Let's see. 
but I believe two of them are running backs, yeah? We have Caleb Downs. He's the best safety. 91 speed, 95 overall, um, 91 jump. Interesting. And then we have Judkins and Travia, uh, Travion Henderson, both halfbacks. I'm curious in real life what they do with this situation, right? Do they just do halfback by committee? Or um, were these guys just taking, taking snaps, right? Uh, 1A, 1B. Or do they usually split one of these guys out in the slot quite a bit? Because that's something a lot of teams do. I doubt they run much split back. Um, but they might, you know, pull one of these guys in a wing or in the slot quite a bit. I, I have no idea what they do. But we also have uh, Emeka Egbuka. Apologies if I pronounced that name wrong. 93 overall, 92 speed. Looks like just a good receiver. Um, so there's that. That is nice to have, of course. But, you know, again, I, I've already talked about my thoughts on receivers. Left end, someone who can get after quarterback. And 86 speed left end. Oh, Jack Sawyer is going to be a problem. Left guard. And, and then a D tackle as well. Okay, that D line. That D line is going to be a problem. Then we have a cornerback right here. Uh, 91 speed. We have seen... The, I've not seen a fast DB yet. We've seen fast uh, wide receivers. No fast DBs, so something to keep in mind. Uh, yeah, and you got to assume this team's decked out at every other position, too, just not in the top 100. Dang. Let's look at what a team like Michigan looks like, though, right? You know, they're a cover, cover athlete team. Uh, boom, boom, apply. What we got for old U of M? Will Johnson, the number one overall player in the game, 96 overall. Then we have Mason Graham as a D-tackle, 95 overall. Colston Lovelin, you know, again, 87 speed at tight end. Looks like he's athletic. That's something you, you really, it's a nice luxury to have in a, in, in a uh, head-to-head offense, right? Having a tight end who can do a lot of different things. It's, it's very similar to real life. Like, it is a nice safety valve, nice luxury. Donovan Edwards comes in at rank number 49. Um, in that gameplay, he, he was a dog because he was gaming and he was a dog on the field. So interested to see how he plays, but then also how the Ohio State guys who are better than him play. Kenneth Grant, they have two D tackles. Recommendation is that you make sure these guys are both on the field at all times. That does not mean you need to run a four down lineman set, but rather you could sub one of these guys in at the end. Uh, Mason Graham, I'd put at the end if you had like three down line, something to keep in mind. Interesting. I know they have a fast quarterback in real life too, though, so that's that's definitely something. And uh, we'll take a gander at the old University of Texas. Hook 'em horns, hook 'em. Uh, we got the uh, SEC, SEC, SEC. We'll go Texas. And kind of the same thing at the quarterback spot here, right? Where and we only got two. They have left tackle, nice. And it just depends how Quinn feels, right? He's better than Jalen Milrow, but. He's nine speed, uh, nine speed slower. Is the pocket of of Quinn Ewers, the pocket passing of his, noticeably better than Jalen's? I think that's like the biggest deal breaker between these pocket QBs and these mobile quarterbacks. Like it changes everything. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and you check out our pre sale we're doing over on Civil.gg. You can use code College right now, get thirty five dollars off a yearly membership and get two. Bonus strategy, guys, thrown in as a thank you for taking advantage of our pre-sale for College Football 25. All right, boys, see you over there.